right, rough drafts time. We're back here with an Eldritch Moon draft. This is my very first ever draft of Eldritch Moon. This is one of the pre-release events on Magic Online. Hopefully we open a Liliana the Veil. That is the most valuable card in the set. Uh, let's see what our options are here. Also going to check the prices on some of these because some of them are still pretty high because it's a pre-order period. For example, that collective Defiance, actually no, less than a ticket. So what are we looking for here? We get a removal spell in Collective Defiance, Galvanic Bombardment, also a decent removal spell, Blessed Alliance, sort of a removal spell, Ruthless Disposal might be the best removal spell, yes we got a discard, and sack a creature but we kill two of anything, which killing anything is something that Collective Defiance and Goblin Bombardment don't necessarily do. I don't really know if we would rather be in uh, black or red. Also, choking restraints, so there's a lot of removal spells here. Uh, let's take Ruthless Disposal. Uh, killing two creatures is pretty nice. So if we're going black, we could be like black-red, madness, although we passed a lot of good red cards in the last pack. Black-green, maybe? Uvenwald Captive is very good. I mean, it ramps us in the early game and then flips around into a reasonable threat in the late game. Otherwise, there's a Madness Vampire if we want to stay black. That's the only real black card. Dawn Griff is pretty good if we're going to go, like, black-white. A Brazen Wolves. Meh. The 2-2 two -two for 2. The, the first red Grizzly Bear. Falcon Wrath Reaver. And then a couple of big Emerge cards. I think I'm leaning towards just taking Uvenwald Captive. Being able to accelerate is pretty powerful. And I think black green is a fine color combination. Maybe get some delirium synergies going. Uh, so here we get a fog. Eh. Shrill Holler, so a 3 1 with, can be blocked by creatures with power less than it. And then it flips around into a 3-5 that makes colorless tokens when it deals damage and still can't be blocked by creatures less than it. Bloodbriar is interesting. I think the right pick, though, is just Boon of Emrakul. This is a pretty reasonable removal spell for limited. Kills a lot of early game threats that don't necessarily get killed by our other things. Uh, so now, interesting, there's a Morn Willow which is fairly powerful, 3-2 haste for 3, plus if we manage to get delirium, it makes a bunch of our little things unblockable that could just close out the game. Also, Midnight Scavengers is not horrible, kind of an expensive and limited gravedigger that can also randomly meld. Uh, I like Scumble to Temptation as a black divination but I don't think we're taking it here soul separator is also interesting I liked it in sealed but it seems kind of slow for draft I think I'm just taking Morn Willow. now we get well haunted dead sticks out is possibly the best card a little over costed on its front half so you cast it you get a 2-2 and a 1-1 flyer which isn't bad but then, discard two cards for one and a black, get it back. You also get the 1-1 one, one flyer again, plus you get the 2-2. Two, two. As an advantage over a lot of the other cards that come back from the graveyard like this, because you actually get a blocker right away. The problem with a lot of those other cards is they're not good at saving you. Because they come into play tapped, so you just play it and die anyway. Haunted Dead actually makes a 1-1 one, one chump blocker in the worst case. So I think we're heading for that. Backward Survivalist is okay it's pretty good but i think haunted dead is where we want to be it also has some nice sacrifice synergy with our ruthless disposal Ooh, a scour it is hard to pass up card draw but this isn't the greatest format for splashing there's not that much fixing and this is a double casted card 
or double casting cost card, which makes splashing really challenging. Although drawing three is a good way to put the game out of reach if we can make the mana work. Otherwise, there's an Olivia's Dragoons, reasonable discard outlet, uh, Swift Spinner is also okay. I think Scour the Laboratory is easily the best card. I'm going to take it. I don't think we're passing up much. Whether or not we can make the mana work, I have no idea, but... I think it's worth the speculative pick there because there's not much else going on. Uh, Alright, there's a big werewolf. Not really for us. I guess we can take the, the spider. I wish it had one more toughness, like a giant spider, but... The best card in this pack might be Desperate Sentry, most likely. Not really interested in either of these black cards. I don't know if Campaign of Vengeance is that playable, so we'll just take the spider for now. Abundant Maw, I think we want. It is sort of a... Oh, God. There's also a Wolfkin Bond. Wolfkin Bond might be another card that's better in Sealed than in Draft. But definitely was pretty impressed with it in Sealed. Yes, you can get blown out by instant speed removal. Not that there's a ton of it. But I think Abundant Maw is just the best card. Synergizes really well with Haunted Dead. Becomes almost a Siege Rhino. So I think we're just going to take the Abundant Maw. Now we get what? Grapple with the Past is interesting. Mill three, then get a creature or land back from our graveyard. So it helps turn on Delirium if that's something we're trying to do. Otherwise, we're taking, like, Thraben Foulbloods, which is reasonable, but not insane. I think I'm going to take Grapple with the Past for Delirium possibilities, plus grind out some value. Um, now we get not much of anything. I guess Falconrath Reaver is the best card. We can take Displace, I guess, in case we end up splashing, which I don't think we will, but maybe. Eh, Campaign of Vengeance. Whenever a creature you control attacks, defending player loses a life and you gain one life. I guess that's decent in a very aggressive black-white deck, but that's not really us. I guess we just take Wailing Ghoul. It's a two-drop. Fills our graveyard. It's fine. Ooh, jeez. Can we play Soul Separator? Actually, we probably just want Midnight Scavengers. We had a lot of cheap things. We're going to be milling ourselves. I like the card draw, but Scavengers is probably just better. Uh, take, uh, yeah, we don't have syner human synergies really for this, so we'll take Cemetery Recruitment. Not that we'll actually play it, otherworldly Outburst. I guess we could play it. So we're set up to be basically Black-Green Delirium. So far we have a bit of removal. Well, alright, we get a bit more removal. I think, as much as I like Mourn Willow, there's a chance that this comes back around. Because... You gotta be black green to really want it. It's good, very good in black green, but if you're not black green, it's not great. I think murder is clearly the first pick here. Uh, it's probably the best card. It's easily the best removal spell in the set. And it's probably one of the best limited cards outside of like a bomb rare slash mythic. But as far as uncommons go, it doesn't get much better than murder. So we'll take murder. Follow that up with... Uh, we have a couple interesting options here. Uh, sticking with black and green, we have another Uvenmold Captive. Again, a good accelerant, a decent two-drop, gets big in the late game. There's also a Dusk Feaster. So if we have Delirium, it's a 4-5 Flyer for 5, which is good. If we don't have Delirium, it's a 4-5 Flyer for 7, which is kind of expensive. I might just take another Uvenwald Captive here. I don't mind having double Mana Dorks to start off the game. And in some ways, these are better than a typical Mana Dork because of the ability to flip in the late game. Now, this pack has not much at all for us. Like, pretty much stone nothing. <laughs> uh, there's some good white cards. Extractor of Sin is good. I actually really like Extractor of Sin. I guess we can take it. Maybe there's a way of splashing it. Yeah, Geist of Lonely Vigils, okay. 
some reasonable blue cards, the big life linker. I guess we could take Weirded Vampire. We're not really madnessing though. We don't really have any madness synergies. It's just a grizzly bear. It's still maybe the right pick. But Extractor of Sin is very good. I don't know if we can really splash it. I would consider splashing it if we could. Uh, I'm going to take the Extractor of Sin. I don't think we're giving up much, so. Creature gets plus three, plus three, and hexproof until end of turn. Eh, decent combat trick. Lone Rider can be good if you build around it. Certain Death, an expensive removal spell. Maybe we just take the Prey Upon. That's a cheaper removal spell. And we do have some semi-big things. Actually, not that many big things. Still, it's more efficient than Certain Death, so let's take Prey Upon, I think. Um, I guess we can take more big Emerge things, even if they're not super exciting. Like this It of the Horrid Swarm. Emerge for 7, when it enters the battlefield, you get two one ones. We do have the Graveyard Synergies to some extent, so... Uh, gives creatures trample and transforms a werewolf, another big life linker. F uh, field creeper is actually fairly important for achieving delirium, being an artifact and a creature. And I would probably play Guy Reach Sanitarium, but I don't know how super important it is. Field creeper will probably come back. I would rather have more abundant maws, but I think we just need some more big things. Well, there's another another uh, Horde Swarm. Rise from the Grave, reanimate something. From a graveyard, it might be worth playing. So for us, we get back, like, an Abundant Maw, or eh, just a value creature. But we can also get back one of our opponent's things that we killed. I think we're going to take it. We have enough Graveyard Synergies, and we could still get something that works really well with it. Uh, now we get... Liliana's Elite gets plus one, plus one for each creature in our graveyard. Also, a Backwoods Survivalist. Fairly big. Triggers Delirium. Might be better than the Elite. Elite can be big. Are we that focused on getting things in our graveyard, though? I'm not really sure. This is just guaranteed to be big, and gets even bigger. Let's just take the Survivalist. Another Scavengers. It doesn't look like we're going to get the meld. I don't think we want another one, especially since we're not going to be melding. Gavany Unhallowed. When another creature dies that we control dies, gets a plus one, plus one counter. I think we just take Field Creeper. Helps with Delirium. Pretty on curve. Now the question is, another Backwoods Survivalist, a Wolfkin Bond to pump something up. Yeah, random stuff. Probably just another Backwoods Survivalist here. I think is fine. Um, Let's just take the ride down. We did not get back the Mourn Willow, unfortunately. Take a... White Bear. Alright. You don't mind Scumble 2 Temptation as some card draw. Definitely play one of those. Or likely, at least. Gyre Reach Sanitarium. Alright, it's either White One Drop. Let's take Gyre Reach Sanitarium. It's actually not a bad way to turn on Delirium either. And we can probably afford a colorless card. So let's see what we get in Shadows. Ugh, our rare is not great. Not for us, at least. It's good if you're a human deck, but we can't really play it. There's not very many green cards. And there's not many good black cards. Liliana's Indignation will probably table. All the best cards are white, really. Silver Strike, Thalia's Lieutenant, Toppelgeist. For us, it's probably just going to be Hinterland Logger. It's a pretty aggressive 2-drop. I don't mind Byway Carrier, but I think, when in doubt, take the 2-drop. Uh, then we get a Relentless Dead. We probably want Relentless Dead here. A little hard to cast, but a lot of value over the long game. 
we have a tiny bit of zombie synergy. So I think we'll just take Relentless. Uh, there's also Pack Guardian, which can be pretty good. Uh, I'm going to err on the side of going cheaper. Uh, so we get a Throttle as a removal spell. Graph Mole's good. Gloom Widow, Widow can be good. I don't think we want behind the scenes in this deck. Moldgaf Scavenger, okay. I just don't know if we're going to have the clues for Graph Mole or I would want it. I think I'm just going to take the removal spell. When in doubt, removal them out. Um... Call of the Bloodline can be pretty solid, can kind of take over a game on its own. We don't really have specific vampire synergies, but we can pick up a skeleton, use it to turn on... Uh, it's either that or just Murderous Compulsion. I do like Call of the Bloodline, though. Murderous Compulsion is another fairly solid removal spell that we would probably play. But we also have other removal spells... This gives us a way to just take advantage of whatever random cards. It lets us activate Delirium, which is sort of relevant. All right, let's take Call the Bloodline. I think that's fine. Jeez. Double Invocation of St. Traft running around. That's a bit scary. Uh, options here. Stalin of Ashmoth. If it has Delirium, we can pump it. Turns into sort of a expensive shade. Crow of Dark Tidings is fairly reasonable. Two one flyer for three mills a couple. When it enters the battlefield or dies, how much? How badly do we want to mill ourselves? Though we don't have like a ton of reasons to mill ourselves. We have some, but still the three drop slots looking a little weak. The other option would be Watcher of the Web. Let's take the Crow, I guess. Well, uh, Intrapack Rare is fine. There's also Sinister Concoction, which would be good. Apparently, we got people out of black. Discard a card, it gets two plus one plus one counters. It's a decent finisher. We could use a little more top end, I guess. It's either that or just Sinister Concoction for removal plus turning on... Delirium, but we already turn on Delirium. Let's take the Dread Knight. I think it's pretty decent and limited. Well, definitely want Dead Weight here. Dead Weight's a great way to get on Delirium and a good removal spell. Uh, not much in this pack. I don't really want the 1-3. Take Merciless Resolve. We might end up cutting it. Um, Shambleback can fight against other people's Delirium to some extent, but I don't think anyone's doing it. Take Liliana's Indignation here. I'm going to take Silent Observer, I guess. Take pieces of the puzzle from the blue deck. So we're get definitely going to have to make some cuts here. We do have one land, which means we're going to have to cut five. Probably not going to main deck Liliana's Indignation, in all honesty. Um, guess we can take the Golem? I don't think we'll main deck it for sure, but... Uh, alright, Stalin, probably just worse than Backwoods Survivalist in this deck. Um, hey, I guess we'll take Chaplain's Blessing, it's not super relevant, but... So we gotta make four cuts from this deck. What are our cuts? Deadweight, Prey Upon or Good, Call the Bloodline. We might have enough two drops without this Wailing Ghoul, which is probably one of our weaker cards. Mourn Willow, Murder, Spinner. I guess we could get rid of this It of the Horrid Swarm. Not that great. And we kind of got some more top end now. Scavenger's probably fine just to get back a random two or three drop. It's not exciting, but it's, it's fine. I could see cutting it without having any real synergy. I mean, it's just a way worse Grave Digger without any chance of melding. So maybe cut that. Although it does get something back, which isn't bad. We do have a lot of two and three drops, a decent amount. And then I guess the question is, how worried are we about flyers? Like, do we want to keep Swift Spinner? I guess Dread Knight can block flyers. Crow can potentially block flyers. I could see cutting that. Maybe cut the Crow. 
and try it like this. So we're like semi delirium, but basically black green value town. Got a bit of card draw, got some good removal. Abundant Maw, Dread Knight for finishers. Plus we can reanimate something. And Backwood Survivalist, especially with Delirium, can be pretty good. I think we gotta keep Field Creeper, even though it looks bad, just because we wanna be able to turn on Delirium. So I think let's oh, and then Gaia Reach Sanitarium. We are gonna play. Helps with turning on Delirium, filters through stuff. Does affect both players, but usually we can do it in such a way where it's gonna gonna help our opponent less than it helps us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven for us. Because we really want to be able to cast our captives on turn two. So six would just be way too low. Maybe we go maybe we just go eight and eight. We have more black mana symbols overall, but I want to be able to hit our green two drops. So let's go 8-8 eight, eight, and a Gaia Reach Sanitarium, just as a value play. Alright, uh, seems like a reasonable a reasonable black-green Delirium deck. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to submit like this. We'll be back for round one.